Today is Saturday, December 3rd. I've been working every single day for the last, I think it's been four to five weeks. And yes, that is including Thanksgiving. I worked for about five hours on Thanksgiving. And not because I want to work seven days a week, just sometimes as a business owner, that's what you have to do. We've been opening up our new location at Romeoville, the construction, Black Friday, all this stuff has just made it so I have to continuously do something every day. But as a business owner, why do you start a business? Well, we start a business for freedom, right? Financial freedom and the freedom to make choices. <laughs> the reality of owning a business is sometimes you have to make sacrifice. The sacrifice to put in the hard work, to sacrifice going out on Friday nights or Saturday nights, getting up early and just going to get it done. Those sacrifices have to be made in order for down the line freedoms of financial stability and the freedom of choice to be able to not have to work if you don't want to, right? I am here early at Romeoville today because today is the first day that we're actually gonna have customers for the bays and we had a PPF class the last three days and uh, I just need to clean up a little bit after them. I wanna clean the floors, get everything moved so that our customers have a, an awesome experience at the bays. As a business owner, we talked about this in the last episode, there's always problems, they never go away. There's always something. And this is the joys of being a business owner. You have to figure out ways to solve these problems. And if you are the person that solves the problem better than everybody else, you win. You can either get mad, you can get angry that things aren't done right, or you can figure out a solution to get them done right. So. After our training class, the place is a kind of mess. We need to figure out whose responsibility is it to clean up the bays after a training. Uh, this is a problem here. <laughs> Two of the va vacuums actually fell off um, here. We actually had that fall and that one fell by just somebody just literally just bumping into it. That can't happen, so now I have to figure out what I need to do to make sure those are mounted properly because they weren't in the first place. These are the challenges of a business owner. Looking much better. Nice and shiny. Josh is starting to put together some of uh, some of the carts we have. This is going to be actually in a laundry cart, so we're going to have maintenance carts available for somebody who doesn't necessarily want to bring all their own, like towels, wash mitts, wheel cleaning tools, and stuff. So like for like ten bucks maybe $15, you can rent a cart that will have drying towels, your wash mitts, your wheel cleaning tools, and then maybe a couple samples of like some G-Technic wash soaps or wheel cleaners and stuff like that. So if you don't want to haul it back and forth and do all that, you can do that here. So we're setting up some carts. I want to see how dirty and nasty this water is. <laughs> I don't know why I love this part. Ooh, gross. Oh, I gotta figure out these vacuums somehow. Uh, looks like we put it up there. You can see the bolts, it like literally just came through these, these little grommets that it sits on. Uh, 
so you can see where this bolt is like almost coming out like it just doesn't fit properly with the uh, the grommet there so I just put these washers there so it won't pull through anymore and uh, tightened them because they weren't very tight in the first place that should solve our problem our first Bay's customers here Doing? Got a pickup today? Yeah. Nice. It was just a pickup order. It wasn't our base customer. <laughs> False alarm! False alarm! Time is 8.55 though. He should be here any minute. What's up, man? You been helped? He's the, he rented out the bay, that's Muhai. Oh, nice. That's our first customer. Cool. Um, if you want to pull around, okay. I'll let you in the garage doors. Now our first customer is here. <laughs> I'm gonna let him in, because we don't have any garage door openers just yet. Beautiful car, man. Thank you. I'm doing some recording today, are you cool with that? Yeah. Alright, killer. I'm Jason. I'm Mahi. Mahi, nice to meet you. <laughs> You're awesome. officially our first customer. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. So let me show you a little bit here. We have the buckets under here. So if you want to fill them up, we actually have a bucket filler right here. Okay. Just put the buckets right in there, fill it up, put your soap in there, all that good stuff. Uh, blower. Uh -huh. uh, the pressure washer's already on, the water's on. So you're good just to take it right out, pull the trigger, you're all good. It's on a boom, so you can go all the way around the car. And then we have air um, on the sides here, all good. Okay. Uh, over here is like a little wash mat cleaner type of thing. You can throw them in there and pressure wash the floor mats or anything like that. Uh, but Bay's all yours, man. If you need anything, let me know. Okay, thank um, you. Yeah, cheers, have fun. <laughs> Uh, Saturday morning, so we have two appointments in the afternoon for the bays um, that are coming. So the gentleman here, I think he's just doing a wash, just finishing up actually. So I want to kind of talk to him and see kind of how his experience was and what he thought of it. So it'd be cool. He's still washing the back, so I don't want to I don't want to bug him yet, but I want to do like an inter little, little interview and see how he likes it and everything. Um, we are hiring. We are hiring for somebody who wants to manage the bays. So we want somebody who, who knows detailing, who likes talking to customers, because a lot of this job is just going to be uh, guiding people into the bays and showing them around, um, you know, getting the rental equipment for them, talking to the customer. Um, we will have an option for like a detail guru. So if a customer wants to come in and they don't necessarily have the skills to like polish or ceramic coat their car, they have an option to buy a detail guru, rent a detail guru. It's almost like one-on-one -on -one training, but they'll work with you on your car and help you and do that. So detailing knowledge is um, gonna be necessary for this position, but then you would help clean up the bays afterward, guide them out and just, uh, it's kind of customer service, but you got a no detailing position. So if anybody's interested in uh, coming on and managing the bays, let me know, Jason at chicagoautopros.com. First time using the bays, tell us your experience. So my experience with the bays, pretty awesome. I mean, you guys have every, everything here. And I'll probably come back next week. <laughs> I mean, you guys have like so much availability. You guys have like all the microfibers I need. You know, yeah. I don't have to go stop by another store. Yeah. You guys have everything. It's all like, I do everything I need to do. Killer, man. One watch. And you did a good job. The car Thank looks you. great. Nice and glossy, shiny. First customer, you always have a special place in our hearts here because you're our first base customer at Romeoville. Thank you. <laughs> Love it, man. Nice job. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I'll live in the dreams. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'll live in the clock for you. Awesome. So, sure. figure it out. Thank Check you. it out. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Well, this is our time. 
tight squeeze in here. Tight squeeze. Not much to share, just a couple of customers in and out. We got two people in the bays at the same time. I've been spending the last hour, an hour and a half or so um, working through our online scheduling software for the bays, which we're using You're Able um, right now to have everybody go on and schedule. And there's just a lot of stuff to set up, like with pictures and descriptions and putting on stuff on the virtual store and then figuring out how to do members versus non-members because our members pay for um, a monthly membership and they get free hours. So I have to have a category with free hours that they can add it on um, and then figuring out reoccurring payments. So it's all it all works really well. I love you're able because customization that you have to it. Customers can schedule online. You have a great content calendar. It does appointment reminders. And then you can actually set up like six months down the road if you haven't seen them. You can actually do like a CRM type of stuff too to kind of just do a blast if you're doing like a special or something. So uh, love it. But it just takes a while to get set up and uh, figure out and make sure everything's working properly. So pretty boring stuff. And that's why I'm not adding it to the vlog because you're just gonna sit here and watch me like click on the computer, that's no fun. <laughs> Let's talk about the lighting in here. So we had to have special um, covered lights for the wet bays because we're actually using water in here. Uh, that seems kind of obvious, but over here you'll see, uh, let's see here, can you see that little plate? Plate, 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 right there. See that plate? There's one, two, three, four of them all the way down there. So I actually want to do, um, we have the Chicago Auto Pro spotlights, which are great for paint correction. So I am going to install those there. I'm actually gonna run the cords through the ceiling and mount them. I just gotta figure out how I gotta mount them first and then plug them in. And we're gonna have that uh, for more lighting on the sides and everything. And if somebody wants to do paint correction with those spotlights. So um, I may start that today. I might go grab them and start feeding some lines through and then kind of get an idea of how I'm actually going to mount them. So, so good. I can do it now. Why not? Hey, this is the cover plate here. Just drill a hole so I can put these wires through and then I can mount this because this has a mount here. It's kind of cool. You can hook it on something or you can put it to the wall different ways, whatever you want. I think what I'll do is just mount that right to there, screw it on there, put a hole somewhere for these wires to go through, and it'll be nice and clean. I'm tired. It's getting dark out again. I left this morning and it was dark. I'm gonna go check and see how everybody's doing in the base, see how Josh is doing, but I think I'm probably gonna call it a day and go get some rest because I'm tired. Bye everybody, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Where you going, little guy? One Viper chair down. Two more to go.